So hello everybody, my name's Jeanette Perkis. Um, I'm an author, I've got three books by me. I'm a public servant, uh, government official. I own my own home. I've got a little cat who you can probably hear in the background wanting you to come in and ruin this video. Um, I have a master's degree in painting, which is why there's lots of pictures behind me that are all mine. Um, and I'm somebody also who has an autism spectrum condition myself. I was diagnosed with um, Asperger's syndrome in uh, 1994, which is quite a long time ago. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about autism um, and I suppose about unlocking the potential of autistic people. Because if you look at me and you look at my resume, um, my potential has been well and truly um, unlocked. You know, I've given a TED talk, I have 10 things at Parliament House all the time, that kind of thing. Um, but it hasn't always been that way. When I was younger, my life was very difficult. I really struggled with um, just managing life on a day-to-day -day basis. I was got in trouble with all sorts of terrible things and people that I shouldn't have mixed with and was very naive and vulnerable and was taken advantage of. And this is something that can happen to young people and older people too on the autism spectrum. Um, so autism is mainly... a uh, um, communication difference and a social difference. So people on the autism spectrum often struggle with things like non-verbal communication, body language, eye contact, facial expressions. We, we don't do those so well and we don't get much meaning from those. We also can struggle with social things, with relationships and friendships, and that can be very difficult. And it could be compounded by the fact that at school and in early life, we're often brutalised and victimised and bullied and all that kind of nasty stuff. It does happen a lot more than it ever should. Um, so we do struggle a bit. But one of the things that we really struggle with is when we get given messaging from an early age that we are unable to achieve anything. There will be no fulfilled life for autistic Jeanette. She, you know, she will never achieve anything. And this is the kind of thing I was told when I applied for my government job that I've been working in for nine years. Now, I was told by people I wouldn't be able to do it because, you know, it's not for autistic people. You won't be able to do that. And I took that as a challenge and I said, well, actually, if I apply and I get it, then what have I lost? And if I don't apply, I probably have lost something by not doing it. So I was really fortunate to have that real positive attitude. But for a lot of us, it's very hard to have that positive attitude. And we find we are told what we can't do. And so that becomes what the truth is. That becomes our reality. People say you won't be able to work. We don't work. The other thing I want to mention is the whole idea of severe and mild autism. I find those terms quite problematic, especially because a lot of the people who are called severe, severely autistic, you know, go to a special school when they're younger or have intensive support, actually as they get older they look very like me. And thing, these things change all the time. And the problem with those functioning labels about severe and mild autism, it doesn't actually take into account the individual. And we're all actually quite different and our life journey can start somewhere with that you know apparently low functioning situation and as we get older that can change and vice versa and the other thing is a lot of people in the autism spectrum don't speak the classified as non-verbal and those people are not generally not intelligent they they generally have quite good brains um, and for, for a variety of reasons a speech is not something they could do often around um, anxiety and things like that but actually you know that whole idea of unlocking the potential of people who might not have their potential unlocked is a very important thing and it's really important to see autistic people as what we are that we can really achieve great things if we're given the right support and encouragement so thank you very much for listening to this video and um, I wish you all the best